Greetings everyone, greetings and welcome. I'm very excited to be back with this episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. It's been amazing so far and I can't wait to see what happens next. Uh, in the last episode I believe we were just gallivanting around and now we're going to continue with some of the story missions um, in chapter 6. I like how I like how the game kind of makes you feel the illness that Arthur is going through. So you kind of feel handicapped. Your aim isn't as steady. Um, struggling to eat food and smoke and everything. I'm realizing how important it is for the, for the dead eye mechanic. But yeah, it seems like he's not getting the full effect of stuff and... Yeah, it's just kind of sad, you know. But man, what an absolutely beautiful game. Look at those clouds moving through the sky. That's that's awesome. Okay, so... Yeah, I think we were... I was messing around trying to catch a panther um, kind of off camera. I was trying to catch a good panther pelt. Yeah, that's exactly why. I was wondering why the game kicked off in Lemoyne. It's been a little while since I played it, but... um. I was hoping to get the Legends of the East satchel, um, but that's okay. I wasn't able to spawn a good one. Um, I just heard about this little trick down here where you can catch the Panthers. So now let's see. What, what do we got? Um, we have the option to talk to Micah. Uh, Trelawney's back at camp. Let's let's talk to Micah. Let's let's see how that goes. Um, so what we'll do is we'll get our headphones on first of all. We'll start off with a nice smoke. Poor Arthur. But yeah, if you've been around this long, I I really appreciate it. Um this is my first playthrough of this kind, and man, what what an incredible game! What an incredible game! I definitely learned a lot on this playthrough, though. I, I did my best to record ahead of time. Um, I wanted to avoid spoilers, so I'm not looking too deep into the comments. Uh, I just wish a panther was here. And then another thing, too, that got me into trouble is there's a lot of traffic through this area, like foot traffic. People coming by, bounty hunters, you know. In fact, I still might be in trouble. I might have a brief bounty on my head. Because I was, I was really messing around trying to find a perfect panther pelt. But yeah, I, I learned a lot this playthrough. And i um, really enjoying this game. It's, Really incredible story and okay yeah so I do I do indeed have the have a bounty that's all right nothing that the post office can't handle oh man we have a if we, if we do this like that it's gonna be a long long time I probably should have gone to the post office or to the stagecoach rather so we we can just do the one in Lemoyne. No, no worries. Yeah, I just, I wonder what's... Hey. Come on, horse. Don't, don't do me like that. Did he get scared because of the alligator? Was I, was I going too hard on him? Not that I like swampy areas, but I think this region might be my favorite in the game. Uh, it's it's really hard to say what is my favorite, but um, I like the town of Rhodes. Oops. 
10, and I love me some abandoned buildings as well. Who is shooting? Let's let's see here. Anyone moves, I go break before I shoot you. Who that close? Oh, I guess maybe this was the 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 this was a train robbery. Wow. I'll put your mama in the same damn hole, cocksucker. I don't wanna loot the wrong people. Lemoyne Raider, okay, yeah, so. These guys aren't as bad. But man, I'm telling you, those Murphy broods or whatever. Those guys are are no joke. I like how strategic they are with the with the ambushes. Man, I really miss this game. Okay, let's see. Let, let's see. What 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 do we got? Man, look at his face. He he got he got effed up. Well, at least the people got away. Yeah. I think I pretty much rescued all the people. Oh shit. Apparently that was one of the other bodies. My bad. It's it's hard to tell sometimes. Yeah. Well, good luck. But man, it's amazing how... How common this was back in the day. Can you imagine buying a ticket to a train, going to like hang out somewhere, going on vacation, and... Just never know if there might be a robbery, and then you have to comply, and then you're just at the mercy of these clowns. You know. Oh, wait a second. This this might not be good. Wait a second. I don't think I should be here. Let's see if we can get away with it. If not, then that's gonna be a fun episode. Oh yeah, I imagine not because of what we did. I apologize if I'm, I'm, if I'm a little bit rusty. Um, realistically though, you gotta imagine They'd probably have a difficult time showing their face. I'll oh, pay your bounty to use the stagecoach. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Let's let's do that. How it's convenient that it's here. I'll be right over. I don't even want to know where that money came from. What can I do for you? Okay. Thank you for your help. Man, I just really love how they used to build stuff. And I just... Yeah, I, I really like that. Okay, wait. So, where are we headed? It's so distracted sometimes. We are going to... Micah, which is Van Horn Trading Post. Despite it, despite it being a game, I, I, I do not like big cities, I gotta say. It just still gives you that feeling. There's a lot of activity, it's alive, there's people going about their lives, I like it, but... 
Oh shit. I better I better play this safe. What what, what am I doing? <clears throat> Dead eye is oh Come on. Give me just a moment, let me adjust my screen here. Yeah, Deadeye is my absolute favorite mechanic, however... Okay, let me... Yeah. But... This, this chapter were kind of limited. Man, that's, that's a smart horse. <laughs> That is a smart horse. It automatically avoids the danger. Oh man, look at this dilapidated building. What is gonna happen here? You know, if you think about it, they didn't really build them that differently. And that, that that's another thing. Like, with good maintenance, a house can last a while. But can it really? I don't know. It's... I see a lot of these old houses for sale on the market and... Part of me wants to, but who wants a hundred-year-old house, you know? I mean, I don't know. I guess it's okay. Okay, so there's quite a few people here. Okay, let's let's see what happens. Ah, there he is. Old Black Lung Morgan. Shut up. Was you followed? Excuse me? Was you followed? Do you know who you're talking to? I ain't sure. I ain't sure about much no more. All I know is there's law whenever you're around. Is that so? Mm. Because it seems to me that since you've been riding with us, there ain't been nothing but trouble. Stirring things up all the time, getting in Dutch's ear. Seems wherever you is, yeah. there's Pinkertons and vice versa. So you better watch your goddamn mouth, boy. <laughs> or... <laughs> <laughs> Take it easy, cowboy. Man. You're gonna do I... yourself a mischief. Where your head. He's... Micah, They're shut just it. laughing at him. It. Dutch Fuck says Micah. we is to go on with plans to create a diversion. We got to get some explosives to blow up the bridge. Keep the army out of here a few days. I think it's a real bad idea. I don't think Dutch cares too much what you think. That's clear. We got to confuse them one last time. Then he and I will head to Blackwater, collect he needs the money, to ditch them. and help everyone He leave. needs to ditch this gang. He's got a boat lined up. Blackwater's a fool's errand. Everyone knows it. He needs to go live with that lady in the it's mountains choice, Arthur. That where her husband gun, died. Same as the rest of us. And he taught her how to hunt. Only you ain't well. I'm fine. Then you'll do Dutch's bidding. Which is robbing a stage that's coming from Annisburg full of explosives. Rob a stage. All we seem to ever do is rob a stage, you and me. Not me. You two. I got my own planning to do. You boys got this. Yeah. Guess we have. Come on, Arthur. And cowpoke. Take it easy. You could do with a vacation. Hmm? <coughs> Why is he being like that? That's such an asshole. Right, like, oh my go. god, it, it really bothers me. I wasn't sure how I felt about Mike at first, but we should jump it as soon as it comes through Van Horn. So you're taking orders from him now? I'm taking orders from Dutch, same as always. A pair of them are becoming unhinged. You hear about Dutch killing Cornwall? Hey, hold up a second. Pinkerton patrol over there. Okay, I think we're clear. Let's head off. Like you were saying before. Well, that needed to be done. Right now? With the Pinkertons breathing down our necks? See, I'm starting to think that you've gone soft, Morgan. Yeah, like... They need okay. to get out and just cut Let's their losses. 
They need to cut their losses. Like this whole thing with thieving and robbing. Down from Annisburg. It's too late. It'll take the two of us to stop it completely, or it'll never get done. So I was thinking, you go play dead, and I'll take care of him. <laughs> no, I'm the better shot, and you, you're the better actor. No, you play dead, and I'll cover you. I got that. <coughs> I got that. Oh, that's them coming now, I think. It'll be quite the show. Well, my dead eye is effed right now, and I think I need it. You know what? Since, since we're on a mission... Where is that one that's, that's actually really good? Um, one moment here. It restores everything, and it's good for that day. Oh, so I can't. I. Whoa! What happened? I was spotted. Okay. Oops. Okay. I was. I was. I was kind of concerned about my dead eye. any of this plus there was a Pinkerton patrol just behind us on the way in so wouldn't they have just heard that and turned around Let's chug some gin. Shit, man, it's 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 tough with, without my precious dead eye, and I still didn't get him. This is actually a tough one for me. I'm not a good shot anyway. Oh shit, I think I killed an innocent person. I shot him in the back. Killing a bunch of 
so we can rob some dynamite and blow up a bridge. This make any sense to you? It's a distraction. So it ain't meant to make sense. It should to us. It's our plan. Look, there's Micah up ahead. Great. got it? We got it. Yes, we got it. What's wrong, Arthur? Nothing at all, boss. John, go drive this over to Bacchus Bridge. Get a hidden near there. He really does think Bill, he's in charge. you go on ahead. I need to speak with Arthur. Good work, son. What's going on? Son. Listen, I know we ain't always seen eye to eye, and, uh, you find me irritating, and a threat, and I like to annoy you. But right now, I need better from you, Arthur. Okay, Micah, whatever you say. I ain't the bad guy you think I am, Arthur. But Isn't that what they survivor. say? <laughs> Stick with me and you'll live. Oh, the bridge is probably a two-man job. You should probably go help Marston. Why don't you? Like I said, Dutch and I got planning to do for the train. There's a big picture here, Arthur. Trust me. Hmm. Man, he sees it. You can just see that he sees it. You can see it in his eyes, literally. God, they did such a good job with the expressions. Oh man, yeah. See, this was this was too difficult for me. Being jostled around on that cart trying to get trying to get headshots. Okay, so what 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 is this? Sadie? Trelawney, right? Or what? Okay. What does this mean? Why, why is it flashing like that? Let's let's check it out. That's I mean it's literally on our way. Oh yeah, cause it cause it's the camp, right? It's it's literally the camp. See what Sadie's up to. Mrs. Adler. You okay? <laughs> Peach. You sure? No, I ain't sure. You still working? Is anybody still working? The whole goddamn place full of people bickering. Fighting and lying. It makes me real sad. I know. Yeah. I need someone to ride with me. Do what? Finish off them of Driscoll's. I hear the last of them is holed up at Hanging Dog Ranch. I don't have it in me no more. I saw a calm swing. I, I just don't care. I was a married woman. You know what they did to me and to my husband? You're the only one of these fools that I trust. I've got to do this. Let's let's help her. Let's help her. I'll tell you, what, I'll do it. But there's something you could help me with. Abigail, Jack, John. Make sure they make it. I mean, this whole thing is pretty much done. But yeah, exactly. So he sees it. Or how do you mean? When the time comes, you help them. What do you mean? I mean, help them escape when I... You know, you and me, we're more ghosts than people. But them, they, they could... I know. Of course I will. Thank you, Arthur. You want to ride with me Man, now, or that, that kind of hit me there. Dog ranch when you can. Let's let's just go with her. Let's let's get it done. Man, that 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 really hit me. Thanks, Arthur. Okay, come on. Why does this have so much soul? I I didn't expect it to have this much heart and soul.
If I'm mourning for a killing. <laughs> hey. You seen anything down there? Yeah, I think there's a bunch of them down there. Okay, so they're so they're in, they're in position. For one of them, it's a fat fellow with a beard. Him, he's mine. Okay. It's a big ranch, run down, lots of folk there, but spread pretty thin. I'll set it off, and then we'll we'll take it from there. Okay, take hang, it hang from on. There. Okay, so no real plan then. I don't think All I can right get now, my wait. weapons. Oh, come on. Um, what do we want? We want our trusty. Guess we could do the Carcano. It's got more. Yeah, I mean this this should actually do it. Maybe the Carcano is meant to replace the rolling block. Oh shit, Sadie. You didn't give me a chance to get ready. Sadie is really crazy with it. Let's see here. I don't want to kill the guy that she wants. They're all fat with beards. about it. I bet you some of the Adriscos are just like us though. They're wondering like, man, what are we doing? Or, or maybe they are scummy. Oh my god. Okay, well, I guess... I thought I died. <laughs> What's, what happened? Is that a woman? Oh no. Gotta do this. That's interesting. It didn't go through the wood. Okay, let's go ahead and do the... Come on! The lady outside don't want none of you coming out of here! 
Wow, man, that was that was embarrassing. Barn's clear. Okay, going into the farmhouse. One, Sadie, be careful. I think I think they're upstairs, right? Come on, Arthur, run. Oh no, she 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 she's got him. Jakey. We was always sweet on one another. I'm sure. Yeah. I miss him every day, every moment. Oh, they turned me into a monster, Arthur. But my memories of him. They still pure. No. I ain't even got that. Yeah. That hit me. Aside from my Jake, you're the best man I've known. I know the company you keep. The competition ain't too fierce. <laughs> we, uh, we should get away from her. I think I need to be alone for a bit. I understand. You, uh, might want to get yourself cleaned up. Thank you, Arthur. <sighs> well, that was nice. Man. What a, what a life these people have had. What, what, what a life. rushed into the barn should have been more hesitant i wonder what that guy had on him i wonder if there'll be anything and then we'll we'll continue along what else do we have though let's see man look at all those dead bodies and we're halfway across the map now just trelawney man i just i feel like something bad's coming i feel like something bad is coming Gold jointed bracelet. So, so, so there is something. There is something. Dear Tom, I write to you. What, what, what was that? I heard like a thing for my honor going down. I write to you from my cell in Saint Denis. I'm sure whoever is vetting this letter would have no quarrel with my telling you I'm kept away. From the main jailhouse on the other side of town, I reside in a small room with a big door and many guards on rotation. Despite their friend friendliness, I do not know any of their names or residences, or else I would share them with you. The day of my execution draws near, and I somewhat look forward to it. Quite rightly, there will be folks in the crowd calling for my blood, but I hope I will see some more friendly faces as well. My imprisonment has given me chance to reflect I think on the things I have done some of which I regret and some of which I do not 
on the people I have known, some of whom are good and some of whom were certainly very bad, and on how I find myself here, having been caught in the bed of a disloyal and loud-mouthed woman. You should know of whom I speak. I would hope you could pay a visit to her in order to say that all is forgiven and perhaps to give her something lasting to remember me by. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait. So... So... Oh, shit. So there's... Stealth kill his ass. I see him. I see him on the map. with Arthur like that. So I knew that they weren't gonna they weren't gonna let me walk away. Okay, well, let's let's continue along. Man, we really Really got the drop on these guys. So at least the O'Driscoll story is done. It meant the most to Sadie out of all of them. Oh man, there's there's actually more of them coming. I I I better go. I don't think I'm gonna get much stuff anyway. them right to a grizzly. Alright. You know, and another thing too, I really like this area as well. Look at these wide open fields and I, I, I love that. I, I really love that. Um, okay, so where are we at? We gotta go to Trelawney. Let's, let's head towards Strawberry. That's the closest place I think, right? Does Strawberry have a post office? I have a hotel, a general store. I need to go to a fence as well. Let's head towards Strawberry, and then we'll, yeah, we'll we'll talk to Trelawney as well. And what a ride this is! This has been. And I really like how Arthur is, it's not so much... Maybe it's the the honor system as well, but like Arthur is visibly... You know, he... He doesn't like the direction that things are going, how things at the camp are deteriorating. I mean, he even told... Yeah, he told Sadie that, and... I like how... Even at the end, he's kind of, you know, like he's, he's a true man. He's, 
kind of suffering silently. He's not like complaining about the illness or regretting the situation or, you know, oh, I'm sure he regrets it, but he's not like complaining to anybody. He's just kind of accepting it, you know, and I don't know. I just think there's something really strong about that and noble and good. But it's it's like it's really like tearing me up, you know, that's that's how I feel. If I'm being honest, that's how I feel. What can he do about it? I don't know. The herbs that the that the Native American chief gave us just I don't know. I don't know if there's anything that can be done. What is this, um, what is this wheel on the map? Post office. Okay, well, where's it at? Let's see, maybe here? Oh, no, we're careful, big man. Watch your stare. I love that. <laughs> hey there. You Hector? That's me. Uh-oh. Alden tells me you're, uh, discouraged. Wait, man. what? What is this? Ah, you must be a friend of that Josiah Trelawney. All right. In that case... Oh man, come I've on. I've got something here you might want to take a look at. Mm-hmm. Oh, the stagecoach stuff. Okay. Well... I see. I actually don't want to rob stagecoaches. I want to live a good life. I want to live a good life. Whatever is left. Anyway. Maybe there's a way out. I don't know. Maybe there's a way out. I don't know. I don't know anything about TB. But I think the best thing for them to do is to take John and... Abigail and just go Where's the thing So now the next thing we can do is go to To the camp here, so we'll go to Annisburg And yeah, I really like how after a time money just becomes Money's just whatever. Whoa! I mean, you would think Arthur can spot Dutch on all that. It's like, we just need more money, we just need more money. I've been going through this whole well, game. Here we are. My ass isn't too flattened either. You know, robbing people, just, just doing stuff throughout the oh, world. Oh. Arthur has so much cash, you know? Ah, uh, just, it's kind of, it's cruel in a way how you can't, you can't, it's, it's, it's tied to the plot, no matter how much you have. I'm sure you could grind and have like a million dollars. And, I mean, could you imagine back then how much money that actually is today? And you still wouldn't be able to progress. Dutch would still be wanting to rob a stagecoach. I'm sure people have tried. I'm sure very passionate people about this game have sat around and collected an astronomical amount of money ju just to see if anything will change. I, I, I wonder actually, I, I need to look into that or if, if anybody knows, I would love to... I would love to know your thoughts. 
Okay. Let's see how everybody's doing. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Before we talk to him. Why are you doing all this stuff behind Dutch's back, Arthur? Why? It ain't like that. Well, so it's true. You're undermining us all. Just when it matters the most. Who said that? Micah? Dutch? Doesn't matter who said it, it's true. Nah, man. Come on, man. Right now, be strong. Be... Together. Why do they have such blind faith in this guy? That's what I don't get. Why do they have such blind faith? Well, try to keep your head straight. Okay, Arthur. I really don't like this. Mm. Yeah, I really don't like this. But either way, here we are. We're at camp. We're going to take a short break. And in the next episode, we are going to talk... To Trelawney. Uh, it's, it's one of the last missions here, and I'm excited to see what happens, but this is this is really deteriorating. This is really deteriorating. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next episode. Take care, everyone. Really appreciate you're here.